How's it going guys? Welcome to Ramsey 6x7. Roll that intro. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Ramsey 6x7. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Today we went to a car meetup, a vintage and souped up cars down in Great Falls, Virginia. I decided to bring the uh, good old Mia 645 with me. Today we're shooting on Kodak Gold 200. Uh, I brought two rolls with me, so I needed to be pretty picky on which ones I wanted to take photos of. But um, as you'll see in a little bit, I think you'll be satisfied. I mean, I like the sun as much as anybody else, but driving into it in the east in the morning is just not, it's just not smart. Actually, you know what the better move would have been? Sunglasses, you know, those things that help in a situation. Just don't know why I didn't bring any. Bad move, rookie mistake, oh well. My retina are definitely fried after this. Also, I could just hit every yellow light known to man. <laughs> Went from a yellow to a red to another yellow, literally in a hundred yards, not even. It's crazy out here. I can't really pinpoint when I started to like vintage cars. I feel like it was more in the last 10 years probably. I wasn't a big car person when I was a kid. Uh, but uh, walking around Richmond, Virginia and seeing the classic cars, the backdrop of the uh, historic houses really did something to me and I, I really wanted to capture those pictures so I used my cell phone obviously back then. But now I think my opportunity to use a, a dedicated film camera to capture in the, the vintageness of everything, yeah, I think that's what I'm, that's what I'm looking for. Six. So we're dealing with today. Ooh. Who's ready? We're off. Sorry for the up nose view here. So Look at this. We got E Man. Look at him. He's out here early. Icy 72. This guy's icy as hell. The legend, Artin himself. He's here. There's a lot of people here. I haven't, yeah, we should walk down. Let's do it. I'll admit though, I don't have any knowledge on vintage cars in this way. I think I just really appreciate the variety of looks that harken to the past and uh, design choices from engineers and the parameters that they had to work within to create what we see today is really beautiful. That is sick. It's like a rally car. <laughs> that is, is that a Buick? This is pretty sweet. Five, six, two, fifty. You ready for this, Brian? We're out here. I love the front. Interior. 
It's looking clean. Oh, no, that's what I thought. All right. It's a light meter. So it tells me like how much light's coming in. And this is, uh, this is how you look through. Oh, interesting. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah. It's all it's reverse. So like you move right and it goes oh, left. Yeah. Pretty pretty crazy. <laughs> um, so that's all analog. All analog, yeah. Yep. It's why it still works now. It's because it had a lot of electronics in it. Probably wouldn't be probably wouldn't work too well. What do you frame my on? Seven. All right, cool. We can walk. Like I said earlier, we're using Kodak Gold today, and I've really grown to like the tones that that film produces. But I will say, I think I was a little bit cautious uh, and underexposed quite a few of my Im uh, images, but they still turn out really good. But I think next time, uh, I'll, I'll lean more on the, the looser side and just trust that the film will, uh, the highlights will be able to brought back be brought back in post uh, editing and just go from there. It's so good. It just looks like a Remember when I said I wish I brought sunglasses? Well, I also wish that I brought a filter for my camera that I'm recording on. As you can see, a lot of this footage is blown out. But you live and you learn. It's the badge, man. It's the badge. Roll's done. Next roll. So luckily, since I don't know much about cars, our friend Artin does, and he was able to school me a little bit on the cars we were seeing and why this one's rare, like the Honda NSX or the BMW Z8. Those are some pretty cool cars. Um, but yeah, it helps to have a, a car guru at one of these things if you don't know what, what's going on, so. Okay, so here's this BMW Z8 that Artin was talking about. There was only a limited amount of this specific model built. Um, so I obviously had to take some pictures of it. Here you go. Oh, the skeleton. <laughs> they were founded in 1909 with a three-wheel vehicle called the Runabout. Tiller steered three-wheel vehicle. Oh wow. <laughs> that is cool. There was this other guy named Oscar there who had a Fiat in which he once sold to a famous comedian who also has a proclivity to vintage cars and driving them around with other celebrities and eventually getting coffee or something at a diner nearby. I'm not gonna mention any names. Those who know, you know who I'm talking about. But this specific Fiat that Oscar was talking about was one of 250 made uh, with their last engine that the Maserati brothers uh, built apparently. 
and yeah, he was super proud of this car. Uh, it looked great. I uh, really enjoyed talking with Oscar, but the main thing, the interior of the car was so clean, and he had these really cool leather green driving gloves, which I really wanted to capture. this thing. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. Did you look at it? <laughs> we love it. All right. This is going to be the this is going to be the shot of the this is going to be a thumbnail, Brian. That's it. That's all she wrote. All right. We finished up at the car show. It was a lot of fun. Can't wait to go again. I got some really, really good footage. Super excited about uh, getting it in there and um, developing it and uploading it. But uh, yeah, you guys would have already seen a lot of the stuff on here, but there were some pretty rare cars, some awesome vintage cars, and uh, it just smelled like old burning fuel the entire time. So yeah, it was great. All right, well, thanks for stopping by again, guys. Not sure where I'm gonna go next, but uh, you, can, you better believe that I'll be bringing a film camera with me and taking some pictures. So yeah, stay tuned. See you next time.